And we're going to turn to Micah, chapter number 6 and verse number 2. It is on the screen. Amen. Micah, chapter number 6 and verse number 2. Amen. I do thank the Lord for all of you that have come back on tonight. I just think that it's good for us to all to get started on the same foot. Amen. So, again, we are moving forward. Let us read together Micah chapter number 6 and verse number 2. Hear ye, O mountains, the Lord's controversy, and ye strong foundations of the earth. For the Lord hath a controversy with his people, and he will plead with Israel. Dear God, right now, Lord, in your name, we do indeed bless you, Lord, as we stand here on this evening, Lord, preparing, O oh God, preparing our minds, our hearts, O oh God, to move into this journey that lays ahead of us. Lord God, we seek your word, O oh God, blessed by your power divine, and we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise, for it is in Jesus' holy name we pray. Let everybody say amen. And you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. The message that I have for us as we move into uh, this uh, year's consecration. Amen. The message is the Lord's controversy. The Lord's controversy. Again, when we talk about a controversy, a, a controversy is a discussion marked especially by the expression of opposing views, dispute, quarrel, or strife. Amen. And uh, the message and the underlying message uh, as we move through this journey on this week is get it right. Get it right. Amen. Get it right. Amen. Again, in this verse, the Bible says the Lord hath a controversy with his people. As we, and again, my focus and our focus is on this journey. But as we go through this journey, if there be anything, amen, that is in opposition to the Lord, if in any way we have a view that opposes the view of God, amen, we want to move it out of the way. Amen. We want to bring our flesh and our will under subjection. Amen. As we move through here. So, and again, this is one of the reasons that at least two times a year, amen, we go through solemn assembly. Because again, flesh wants to build up and flesh wants to flex its muscles and flesh wants to rise up and a carnal nature wants to pervade, amen, our hearts and our minds. And so it's good for us to take, amen, set aside some time, amen, to bring this flesh under subjection, amen, as Elder Mayfield was saying. Tell this flesh, no flesh, no, 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 amen. And again, that is bringing this flesh under subjection, amen, where this flesh realizes it just can't have anything and everything it wants, and it's not even going to get everything the way that it wants. It's not always going to have its way, amen. But as Jesus prayed in the garden and as he was facing Calvary and the suffering and the shame and the agony and the ordeal of the cross, as he bowed down on his knees, he said, Lord, if it be so, Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Because even that flesh that had not been tainted, amen, by sin and infirmity, that flesh that was tempted in all points as we are yet without sin, still that body did not want to suffer, amen, because as we say, understandably, it is not a mathematical possibility but he was 100% flesh and 100% God. Amen. And that 100% of humanity, amen, just like your humanity, did 
did not, does not want to suffer. Amen. But there comes a time that, amen, there's a point where uh, there is a need for bringing this flesh under subjection. There is a need for bringing, amen, this carnal nature, bringing it back down, pressing it down, driving it out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so as Jesus travailed in the garden, and as sweat ran down as great drops of blood amen as he prevailed and travailed amen as i say he came to the conclusion amen nevertheless lord not my will but thy will be done amen that's where we want to get to in this week amen not my will but lord if i can see it your way if i can see through your eyes if i can move as you direct amen if i can be totally in line with you amen this is not saying that somebody is sinning or somebody is doing this or doing that but sometimes uh, amen we just get a little bit out of sync with the lord amen sometimes uh, amen we're just a little bit out of step uh, amen we may be moving in the right direction uh, amen but we might be dragging a little bit uh, amen not up to where god is uh, because we are dragging and drawing back a little bit Ah, amen. We want to get in step with the Lord. Ah, amen. And on the flip side, ah, there are some that are moving so fast ah, that they moved ahead ah, of the will of God. Ah, amen. We don't want to be too far up the road. Ah, we don't want to be too far back. Ah, amen. But we're striving ah, to be in the center ah, of the will of God. Somebody ought to say amen. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, Amen. Want to be in the center of his will. Ah, amen. He was talking to Israel. Ah, and he said here, ah, ye old mountains, ah, the Lord's controversy, ah, and ye strong foundations of the earth. Ah, amen. We need ah, amen, to acknowledge ah, amen, that God is in control ah, of everything. Ah, amen. The circle of the earth uh, sits upon the power of God uh, amen everything uh, hangs in the space uh, the stars in the moon uh, amen and all of the stellar beings uh, amen all hang there uh, according to the will uh, and the purpose of God uh, in Colossians chapter number one uh, it says in him uh, and by him uh, do all things uh, amen all things Things were created by him uh, amen and in him uh, do all things consist uh, and that word consist uh, amen means that he uh, is the one uh, that holds all things together uh, he uh, not only created uh, amen but he hangs uh, amen the stars in space uh, he hangs uh, the moon in place uh, amen not only that uh, but everything uh, is where God designed it to be. Amen. If we had any idea, amen, of the space junk, amen, that's floating over our heads, amen, we'd be like Chicken Little. The sky is falling. But even that, God is holding all of those things in place. Saw in the news where they've created the biggest airplane that has ever been made. Amen. And they're about to take it for a test flight. Amen. All they've done so far is to take it around on the ground. This thing is so huge. It's got two cockpits and it has been developed so that it can launch low level satellites into orbit. As though there's not enough stuff up there already. Amen. Now uh, they're making it easier uh, to put more junk up there. Uh, but it's God uh, that holds all things in place. Uh, it's God uh, that we trust. Uh, otherwise, uh, we would be uh, in constant fear. Uh, but I believe uh, that God uh, is going to preserve us. Uh, I believe uh, that he uh, is protecting us. Uh, I believe uh, he's holding uh, everything in place uh, not only uh, is 
be holding everything in place when we talk about all things consisting by him that means every time your heart beats it's God every time you inhale and exhale it's God every time you're able to get up out of your bed it's God every time you open your eyes and you realize where you are it's God everything consists in him everything is held together by him he owns it it belongs to him amen and we better get in line we better get in line amen with his will and with his purpose and he says I speak to the mountains I speak to the strong foundations. Uh, amen. I got a controversy. Uh, amen. It said the Lord uh, has a controversy uh, with his people. Uh, and he will plead uh, with Israel. Uh, amen. Let the Lord talk to you this week. Uh, amen. Let his spirit uh, amen, deal with you this week. Uh, so, uh, if there's anything uh, that needs to be gotten straight, uh, Lord, uh, help us uh, to get it right. Uh, let's give God some praise. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, hey, man, we don't want there uh, to be any controversy uh, between us and our God. Uh, hey, man, we want to be uh, so close to God. Uh, as the old folks said, uh, you could, shouldn't be able uh, to pour water between us. Uh, hey, man, we want to be so close to God. Uh, hey, man, that there is no distance. Uh, hey, man, there is no distinction. Uh, there is no difference uh, in thought, uh, in purpose, uh, in will. Uh, Lord, uh, draw us closer uh, to you. Uh, let's give God some praise. Amen, amen, amen. Uh, amen. As I close, uh, amen, I draw from the lyrics uh, of the song, uh, Sweet Will uh, of God. Uh, it says, My stubborn will uh, at last had yielded. Uh, I would be thine uh, and thine alone. Uh, and this the prayer uh, my lips are bringing. Uh, Lord, let me in. Uh, thy will be done. Uh, sweet will of God. Uh, still fold me closer. Uh, till I'm holy. Uh, lost in thee. Uh, sweet will of God. Uh, still fold me closer. Uh, till I am holy. Him, uh, lost in thee. Uh, the songwriter said, I'm tired of seeing uh, foot sore and weary. Uh, the darksome path uh, had dreary grown. Uh, but now a light uh, has risen to cheer me. Uh, I find in thee uh, my star and sun. Uh, thy precious will, uh, O conquering Savior, uh, doth now embrace uh, and come past me the storm has ceased my peace a river my soul a prison birds set free sweet will of God still fold me closer till I am holy lost in thee sweet will of God still fold me closer till I am holy lost in thee uh, that gives us an objective uh, I want to get closer uh, I want you to fold me closer uh, I want you uh, hallelujah uh, to draw me uh, into uh, thy holy will uh, amen sometimes uh, amen as a, a cook uh, amen is working uh, with raw ingredients uh, sometimes you put uh, amen the eggs and the flour uh, and then you begin uh, to stir uh, and as that consistency uh, amen be begins to thicken uh, 
amen, after a while, you're folding it over and over and over. Why does the cook do that? Because, amen, the cook wants the eggs in the flour and the flour in the eggs. Amen, doesn't want a distinction, a separation, but fold me closer. Oh, Lord, fold me closer. Oh, Lord, until I'm holy, lost in thee, till there's no more me, amen, but it's thee, till my will has succumbed and submitted to the will of God, amen, we may enter in, but we don't want to leave this week with a controversy between us and God, amen, some things, talk about I see it this way, and I feel like this and I think this and I think the other amen after that flesh has been pushed down after a while it's not about how I feel but it's about Lord how would you have me go what would you have me say what would you have me think Lord hallelujah I don't want them to be no controversy between me and thee. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. 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 I want you very quickly, stand up on your feet one more time. I want us to go back to that scripture that Elder Hyde read tonight. Amen, the 24th Psalm. Amen, we want to read through that just one more time. Amen, those of you from old Zion. Amen, it was every Sunday morning. Amen, and you could quote it by heart. Amen, it's been a few years since then. You might need some help, but let's read through the 24th Psalm as we prepare for this journey. Amen. Psalm 24 and verse 1. Let us read. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up his soul under vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessings from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Selah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Selah. Amen. Dear God, right now, we do indeed bless you. We thank you, Lord. You're a good God. You're a great God. You're a holy God. You're a mighty God. And we bless you today. Lord God, we ask that you, oh God, would allow this word, amen, to resonate in our hearts and minds as we move forward on this journey. And we thank you in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen and amen. You may be seated. We're going to prepare, amen, for our prayer line. Amen. And as always, we are going to have a moving prayer line. They're going to 